Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Learn with Sahira. In this video, we are going to see the calculation of arithmetic mean in continuous series, which is also known as grouped data. In our previous video, in part 1, we have seen the calculation of arithmetic mean in discrete series, which was ungrouped data. If you didn't watch that previous video, part 1, please watch that video because watching both of this video only will make you perfect in calculation of arithmetic mean. Sometimes in the examination, they will be asking you to calculate arithmetic mean in continuous series. Sometimes they will be asking you to calculate arithmetic mean in discrete series. So it is really very important to be perfect with both of the series. So watch that video for discrete series and watch this video for continuous series. Watching both of the videos will make you perfect in calculating arithmetic mean. Compulsory in your examination, there will be a problem to calculate arithmetic mean. So don't neglect, watch the video till end and if you are new to our channel, learn with Sahira, subscribe it for more videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends too. And if you want the notes of all the subjects and languages, whatever you are having in your group, you can text me on my Instagram if you want notes. Okay, my Instagram ID is learn with Sahira. I will be giving you the access for all subjects notes which are really very easy simple and clear to understand all subject and languages important question and answers notes i will be providing you text me want notes i will be sharing with the notes but note payment is must i repeat payment is must okay so keeping this aside let us go with the calculation of arithmetic mean in continuous series so there are two me two methods ma one is direct method and the other one is shortcut method Whenever they are asking you to calculate arithmetic mean in continuous series or discrete series, try to go with the direct method only because direct method is really very easy. If you go with the shortcut method or direct method, whatever the method you choose, answer will be same. Okay, mean will be same. But this is easy. This is little bit confusing. If they specifically ask you to find arithmetic mean in shortcut method, then only go with the shortcut method. If not, you directly go with the direct method, okay? Anyways, I will be showing you to calculate arithmetic mean with direct method as well as shortcut method, okay? So, let us get started. So, whatever they have given in the question, that only we have to take first. So, let us take marks. Okay. Marks, let us assume it as X. Then we have frequency. Direct frequency only they have given. So, let us take marks. How much are the marks? 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 20 to 40, 40 to 50 and 50 to 60. So, these are the marks and the frequencies of those marks are 5, 10, 25, 30, 20. So whatever they give you in the question that only you have to take in the answer also solution also okay after taking x and f now we have to find mid values okay next step or next column is mid values which is denoted as m okay let us take mid values as m how you are going to find mid values of these you have to see what value will come in between of 10 to 20 okay first you need to add both 20 plus 10 how much it will be it will be 30 30 divided by 2 you do it you will be getting 15 okay 10 plus 20 it is 30 divided by 2 you do you will be getting 15 next 20 plus 30 how much it is 50 50 divided by 2 you will be getting 25 you can do like this or you can directly just see and write like 10 to 20 it is 15 20 to 30 it is 25 30 to 40 it is 35 40 to 50 it is 45 50 to 60 it is 55 sometimes they may not give you 10 to 20 sometimes they may give you like 12 to 32 16 to 28 like that it in that cases you will be getting confused right so what is the mid value you will be getting confused so you can use this calculator and you can find the mid values so these are the mid values let us draw a line okay so now we need to calculate f m 
एफ एम मीन्स वॉट एफ मीन्स फ्रीक्वेंसी एम मीन्स मिड वैल्यूज सो यू नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई बोथ दीज वैल्यूज देन यू विल बी गेटिंग एफ एम ओके सो लेट इज मल्टीप्लाई फाइव इंटू फिफ्टीन इट इज सेवेंटी फाइव टेन इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव इट इज टू फिफ्टी ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू थर्टी फाइव इट इज एट सेवेंटी फाइव थर्टी इंटू फोर्टी फाइव इट इज वन थ्री फाइव जीरो वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी ट्वेंटी इंटू फिफ्टी फाइव इट इज वन वन डबल जीरो नाउ वैट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू सी सिग्मा एफ एम एंड एन ओके वी नीड टू फाइंड सिग्मा एफ एम देन वी नीड टू फाइंड एन ओके हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड सिग्मा एफ एन लेट मी जस्ट ड्रॉ ए लाइन हियर सो दैट इट विल नॉट बी कन्फ्यूजिंग यू हैव टू ड्रॉ द लाइन और यू हैव टू ड्रॉ दिस टेबल इन योर एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो ओके हाउ वी विल बी फाइंडिंग सिग्मा एफ एम यू से मी वी नीड टू एड ऑल दीज वैल्यूज यू एड ऑल दीज वैल्यूज यू विल बी गेटिंग सिग्मा एफ एम सेवेंटी फाइव प्लस टू फिफ्टी प्लस एट सेवेंटी फाइव प्लस वन थ्री फाइव जीरो सॉरी देर वॉज अ कैलकुलेशन मिस्टेक सो लेट मी डू अगेन एट सेवेंटी फाइव प्लस वन थ्री फाइव जीरो प्लस डबल वन डबल जीरो सो वी आर गेटिंग थ्री सिक्स फाइव जीरो सो थ्री सिक्स फाइव जीरो इज नथिंग बट अवर सिग्मा एफ एम नाउ लेट एस फाइंड एन फॉर एन ऑल्सो वी नीड टू एड ऑल दीज वैल्यूज लेट एस एड ऑल दीज वैल्यूज फाइव प्लस टेन प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस थर्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी हाउ मच वी गॉट वी गॉट नाइंटी सो लेट एस टेक नाइंटी हियर ओके लेट एस हाईलाइट बोथ ऑफ दीज वैल्यूज विथ सम अदर पेन ओके ओके so we got fm we got n now what we need to do we need to simply substitute it in the direct method formula what is direct method formula okay so let me just divide both of these sides here we will be doing direct method here we will be doing shortcut method so what is direct method formula x bar equals to sigma fm by n so substitute Sigma FM how much it is three six five zero n how much it is ninety now what we are going to do we are going to calculate three six five zero plus sorry three six five zero divided by ninety it is forty point five you can take forty point five or else directly you can you can take forty okay your wish so mean here is फोर्टी पॉइंट फाइव ओके नाउ लेट एस डू द डायरेक्ट मेथड टू डू द डायरेक्ट मेथड एज वी हैव सीन इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो पार्ट वन वी हैव फाउंड डी डिविएशन एज वेल एज एफ डी फ्रीक्वेंसी विथ डिविएशन सो लेट एस फाइंड डिविएशन हियर ऑल्सो ओके सो टू कैलकुलेट डी वी नीड टू हैव एज्यूम्ड मीन यस so here we are assuming assumed mean as 5 okay whatever the number or whatever the value you want to take as assumed mean you can take okay but let us take the minimum value okay so after assuming assumed mean what we are going to do we are going to minus m with assumed mean okay so let us see m minus assumed mean 15 minus 5 how much it will be it will be 10 okay so then we have 25 minus 5 how much it is 20 35 minus 5 it is 30 45 minus 5 it is 40 55 minus 5 it is 50 so we got d here after getting d what we are going to see we are going to see fd fd is nothing but frequency into deviation what is frequency frequency here is 5 into deviation how much it is 10 pi tens a 50 then we have 10 into 20 10 into 20 it is 
sorry it is 200 then 25 into 30 it is 750 then we have 30 into 40 we have 1 2 double 0 then we have 20 into 50 we have 1000 okay so we got fd now what we are going to do we are going to find sigma fd sigma fd is nothing but when you add all these values you will be getting sigma fd let us add and see 50 plus 200 plus 750 plus 1 2 double 0 plus okay so we got 3200 as our sigma fd so this is our sigma fd so now let us substitute all the values into the formula what is the formula x bar equals to assumed mean plus sigma fd by n so let us see here assumed mean how much we took we took it as 5 then plus sigma fd how much it is it is 3200 n how much it is it is 90 now you do the calculation 5 plus 3 2 double 0 divided by 90 it is 35.5 okay now what we are going to do we are going to add this 5 plus 35 sorry 5 plus 35.5 how much it is you can see we got the answer 40.5 mean is 40.5 okay so you can see while we were doing direct method we got the answer 40.5 and while while we are doing here shortcut method we got 40.5 so here method is not important mean value is important so if they are asking you to find arithmetic mean use direct method only if they are specifically asking you shortcut method you go with the shortcut method anyways by doing with both the methods also you will be getting the same mean only so if you are having any doubts let me know in the comment section and for notes you can text me on my instagram my instagram id is learn with sahira okay so see you all in the next video bye bye